DDR5 is on its way, but what on earth can it even bring to the table? Seeing how good DDR4 is, it's very hard to imagine how they could improve things even more. They are promising to improve it quite a bit, so let's go over exactly what you can expect from DDR5, what will it mean for your PC in the future, and when we can expect to finally start seeing some DDR5 on motherboards and on store shelves. As with each generation, the main two things that are always improved are maximum frequencies and of course capacities, with DDR5 promising capacities of up to 64 gigabytes per stick, which if that's true, that'd be an absolute, absolute win. Now and actually that will cost quite a bit, especially early on in DDR5's lifespan, but still 64 gigs on a single stick will still be huge for people who need that much. Additionally, frequencies are also getting a huge boost. With the standard frequency for DDR4 being around 3200MHz, DDR5 is promising to up that to around 4800MHz up to 6400MHz. And seems to have come at the right time as well because as we all know, the Ryzen Zen architecture is super super dependent on having really high speed memory. So these kind of speeds, whew, can't wait to see what kind of performance we could get out of a Ryzen chip thanks to such high frequency memory. And as a nice little bonus, the voltages are supposed to go down as well as they do pretty much every single generation, going down from about 1.2 volts to about 1.1 volts, which is, I honestly don't know how much further down they could bring it and still maintain such high speeds. The that still leaves one massive thing and that's cast latency, because if you know anything at RAM, you know that lower voltages and higher frequencies usually also means a higher latency, which is not a good thing. So we'll see exactly how well they manage to also maintain low latencies in that area despite having a lower voltage and also such insanely high frequencies. So when can you expect DDR5 to become available? Well, it looks like Zen 4, so AMD's next architecture, which is set to release in 2022, will use DDR5 and so will its motherboards. As for the Intel side, well they haven't been talking too much about DDR5, but we can also expect a probably a 2022 delivery date for that. So yeah, very soon DDR4 may finally become obsolete, but maybe not fully obsolete, because the launch of a new generation like DDR5 should mean that the prices of DDR4 will just completely fall off, and if you are planning on making a re-budget last gen PC, then it could be a great time for some super cheap DDR4 memory, so that's definitely also something to look out for. So let me know if you're excited for DDR5, and hey, while you're also still here, maybe check my Patreon, because in $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel, and allows you to make way better videos, and also videos on way more interesting topics. So that's going to be linked down in the video description below. And also, left of my Patreon, Gavin Burns, OKB, Naomi Sushi, Ryan, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. Down now you're still going to find our Discord if you want to talk to me or is it this or whatever else really. And also our Amazon Associates links. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in what I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.